Welcome to CET Colors instructional web series on large format digital UV printers. Today we're going to show you how to zero out the manometer. Zeroing out the manometer is performed once a week. This ensures that negative pressure is being read accurately. It also helps to minimize the chance of negative pressure failure or dropout. Power on the printer. Refer to our instructional video on powering on the printer. Locate the manometer. The manometer is located on the upper right hand side of the carriage and has a numeric indication of negative pressure displayed digitally. Generally negative 3.5 would be an average negative pressure. Please refer to your manual for that specific printer model's negative pressure range. Once located, press and hold down the blue mode button and the gray down arrow button until the display reads lock off. Note, if the lock is already off, it will change to lock on. If so, release the buttons and press the buttons again to toggle the lock off. In order to tell if the manometer is in need of calibration, we will need to measure ambient air pressure. Locate the overflow tank drain tube. It is a silver box located on the rear of the carriage. Unscrew and remove the cap. Observe the manometer readout. If the readout is not 0.0, .0 press and hold both the up and down gray buttons until four zeros appear. At this point, release the two buttons and the readout should display 0.0. .0. Replace the cap onto the overflow tank drain tube. Go to the CET controller and go to the control systems and configuration page. A reset button can be found in the lower right corner. Click the reset button two to three times to reset the negative pressure pumps. Observe the negative pressure readout from the manometer. Adjust the regulator to the preferred negative pressure setting for your specific printer type. Please refer to the manual for that specific printer model's negative pressure range. And that's how to zero out the manometer on a CET Color large format digital UV printer.